Hi there, lovely girl. Uh, hi. How, How are, are you? you? I'm very good. I love your glasses. Thank you. We're, we're both like a little eyeglass commercial right now. <laughs> I know, right? Mm -mm. <laughs> well, my darling, you have an introduction. So here we go. Turn it up. Can you? Guest. Be our guest from Beauty and the Beast. Because my guest today creates fabulous tabletops for all her guests as the founder of Savoir Flair Weddings and Tim Parade. Ryan's entrepreneurial and creative spirit inspired her to start her sister company, Tim Parade, designing award-winning napkin treatments, party and entertainment goods nationally and internationally with her new ideas and twists on traditions. With a bachelor's degree in history, Ryan is fascinated by styles and trends of eras gone by and designing weddings lets her merge transitions and traditions of the past with innovative, fresh trends of today. Also known for her killer Christmas cards, please welcome the fabulous Chief Party Goods Artisan, Mrs. Ryan Larson. Hi! How fun. <laughs> I love you. I love being our guest from Beauty. So good at those. <laughs> Oh, thank you. I have so much fun putting them together because I always Everyone think, like, what's a section in their life by Charlie? <laughs> oh. <laughs> always. Whenever you walk in a room, you should be, you should have that introduction before you step yes. into a room. <laughs> but I just love it. Be Our Guest, it was, I thought was so perfect because, well, that's what you do. You entertain your guests and you put these beautiful tabletops on your tables. You have Savoir Flair is a wedding planner. And you have Tim Parade, where you make these gorgeous napkin treatments become the stars of the show, which I love. But when did you get your aha moment to create Tim Parade? Well, I had been doing weddings, as you said, for a million years, and which, which I love weddings. I love weddings and being a part of yeah. people's day and, and all of that. But as a creative person, you know, sometimes you, you do need to kind of branch out and do something else creatively. Um, and I had always been doing certain napkin treatments um, that I, I don't want to say I was known for them, but I, for me, that was something I just loved that part of things. I loved that element. Yeah, and I was always trying to do something different and unique, like, like we all are. And, um, and I just always kind of thought about the napkin treatment a lot. It was just one of those areas that I thought about a lot. Um, and so I, uh, my husband would always say, you know, you, you design these things. Oh, hold on. One second. We can't hear you. Hold on. <laughs> oh no, we've lost the sound. Hold on, Ryan. Can anybody hear her? Put your thumbs up if you can hear her. I actually can't hear you, Ryan. Ah. Can anybody hear? Oh, no, nope, we've lost her. Oh, come back, Ryan. This sometimes happens with Instagram Live. If you can hear me, Ryan, are you in a good place with your um, internet? Because we've got a bit of a fuzzy screen as well. No, you can't hear him as Glorious White. No, nope. can anybody else? No, nope. sorry folks, joining in right now. Just give us a second. We're just having some little technical issues with being able to hear our lovely Ryan. So hold tight. This happens, you know, live Instagram. Very rarely, but it does happen. Uh, okay. Anybody else hear her? Hi, Corey. Welcome to the show. We're just having a little technical issue here right now. Oh, no, she left. Okay. Hopefully she's going to come back on again. Yeah, we had a little bit of technical issue there. But if anybody has any questions for Ryan, um, she's an amazing wedding planner. She has these gorgeous napkin treatments. Go to her website and take a look. Tim Parade is the, uh, her wonderful party goods company, and Savoir Flair is her wedding planning company. And uh, she's truly amazing. So hopefully any minute now she will click back on. But this happens. Here we go. I see her now. We're going to try again. Hopefully we'll be able to hear her. Are you doing good, Corey? Good to see you. All right, here we go, connecting. How are we doing? Man, I'm back. I'm so sorry. You know what? I, um, 
in Insta it's um my um internet so i'm now on just my phone so yeah it. yeah it but happens I've sometimes got, i've got two kids doing school right now my husband's doing a presentation <laughs> it's like everyone's on <laughs> that's <laughs> why it's doing this yeah <laughs> Oh, bless that. you. Well, anyway, go back, lovely. So tell me, your husband, what he Yeah, so he was yeah. like, you design all these one-off things and you make them and then they're custom, but then what if you could sell them to other people and other people could enjoy what, such wonderful things on their tables? And so, um, yeah, so that's kind of how I was like, I should, you know, do these, um, you know. It's brilliant. It's a, it's a genius people. idea because, well, you know, we spend our lives designing tabletops and there's only right. so much you can do with a napkin right right there's right and then there's only so many napkin treatments out there you know right. so for you to come up with this i mean look at this this is just one of them that you had given me um and i just oh, so love lovely. it I have it still this is one of our new ones which is one of my favorites oh i love I, it now is, is that bling 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 is it sparkly it's not it's gold it doesn't oh. have um it's the so. same gold the one that you have, you know, there's the back. Right. But I love oh, this one. You could actually put like the bride and groom's initials or like if it was somebody's birthday, like you could put 40 in there, or, you know, on a menu card or that kind of oh, thing. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that. Do so you that also one. have a leather one as well, which I really love. And I'm dying to do an event where I can print the guest's name on the leather. Yes. Yes. I love that one. Yeah. I know that one's so pretty, the, especially the off-white one. I love yeah. What print. inspires you? For these designs everything um i i love our art deco for one thing and so I, I don't have it in front of me but uh the first one that i um you know i, I hand draw these out first um yeah the, the one that has all the different crisscross lines in different places and it's just this yes. art deco kind of inspired one um and love i actually when i first had done the um the first napkin wraps which were really ones for my clients before I, I made them, you know, um, official was uh, with the leather. It was the leather pieces first. And I actually went to Paris to launch the collection. Um, th just over three years ago is when I launched this collection. And um, I went to Paris with all the leather pieces. Um, but, but a month before Paris, I was like, wait, it's all wrong. They should be metal. <laughs> and so then I, I, had come up with the idea for the uh, a couple of different metal ones. I have mostly metal ones now, and so I have the yeah. gold and the silver and some different colors. And um, and I had drawn all these things out, and I quickly had to get molds made and and get them poured and samples. And you know, I had samples sent straight to Paris. It was crazy. Um, and so I had how did you come up with Paris? Paris uh, during Design Week in September is the Maison et Objet show and it's the show that everyone launches their new collections for home um right. furnishings um and it happens at the same time as design week so so many creative people are flooding all of paris during that week um they're either there for fashion or they're for you know beautiful Yay. furnishings or um different things like that and so i actually launched the the napkin wraps in in europe first before launching yeah. them us and when i was doing the show you know so many people loved them but i noticed that people were really drawn to the metal you know um mm. to the sparkly you know and that kind of thing um because i think in the us we do things that are sometimes more casual and in france i think they liked this that kind of more classic you know like the one that you showed the yeah. the leaf this is our top seller i didn't even have one at the time but but and, How and pretty and so that is, folks. The leaf wrap. That's my favorite. Um, it's so elegant. After I drew that on a on a Delta napkin on the way back from the Paris show. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I love that. Some of the best designs are done on napkins, right? Total. Well, yeah. And then this one I drew on the way back from uh, Germany a, over a year ago. I did the Germany show, and and I drew that one on the way back. But um. That's beautiful. Yeah. So, so, yeah. So, th I think the inspiration, um, as far as that goes, it it comes from. Um, I, I love so many different types of just design styles. Um, I I love. Yeah. Um, 
I love that you love eras gone by. And I guess you'll love yeah. the history because you got a bachelor's degree in history. All of that is like seeping into your designs. Is that where you get a lot of your love that from? That is true. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. right. Yes, absolutely. Um, I, I do have sort of a fascination. Um, some people might call it an obsession with the idea of time travel. <laughs> uh -huh. I love that. Yeah, and, and um, I, I really, really love to uh, immerse myself in um, eras or history or, you know, I love to read um, historical novels and, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and so when you talk about our Christmas cards, each year I delve into a different era. Um, so, yeah, I, mean, I think I'm just inspired by yeah, era's gone by, I think, yeah. You have to go to her website, because on her website, there are pictures of all her different Christmas cards with your husband and your two kids and the dog, and you, you've chosen, you've really gone for it, all these different areas, and eras, and I, it's just yeah. stunning, and that's, that's a real commitment. Um, it, and it's literally, and I'm not even kidding when I say this, um, it's my most favorite day of the entire year, the day that we... <laughs> Uh, and sometimes people are like, how do you get your kids to do that? My kids actually like totally get into it. Um, yeah. And I mean, when they were little, so there are some photos where I go, I know that my daughter has a cookie uh, behind her back that she knows that she gets to oh. photos done. That is so cute. Bribery. It always yeah, works. So bribery is fine for the photo day. Um, but we do it with Laura Greer. Oh, our lovely Laura Greer. Yes. And Wonderful Laura photographer who we had on the show as well. Yeah. Yeah. And that's where you gave me this, because Laura Greer was doing um, a beautiful pop-up with you for her hats. That's right. Yeah. You, you had your gorgeous tabletops, and she, yeah. and she had her hats. And, and she's just, another awesome entrepreneur. Just girl. so impressed by you ladies, honestly. So much fun together. Um, and our friend Stacy, who's a stylist. And we just, we have so much fun doing, doing the, the shoot. It's so when do you Laura, come up with the idea and when do you do the shoot? Honestly, what, we do the shoot whenever Laura Greer is in Los Angeles. Because that <laughs> girl, she's always running around. She is here this week. I happen to know. I just talked to her. But um, yeah, she's always around. So this year we didn't shoot it until I want to say the 19th of December. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, but we actually, we call it a New Year's photo so that we don't have to stress out about getting it out for Christmas. Um, but I, I think of it usually during the year by six months before Christmas, I've pretty much landed on what we're going to do. Um, and then I'm just thinking and thinking and, you know, looking around on photos and everything that we do, all the, the costumes, um, I make them all with scraps, um, of whatever you I make, have around. Wait, wrap up. You make them? Yes. So you're thinking I'm sitting at a sewing machine for hours, sewing a big, yeah, you know, blood dress. No, I actually, it's funny because behind me, there's clips and safety pins and weirdness. But in <laughs> front, it looks like a full dress when on last year's photo, I was wearing a tablecloth on my ah, shirt. Really? <laughs> yes, true. Um, and uh, there's, a, there's one of, my, of us on the beach that was the 1920s one. And my daughter is wearing this dress and it has this you know, little lace part and everything. And um, I had just pulled this little lace thing from my night pajamas drawer. <laughs> okay. And so my, my daughter, who was probably like, you know, nine at the time, she was like, um, why does anyone want to wear fancy pajamas? I just, don't you just want them to be comfortable? I was like, oh, yeah, oh. you actually do. <laughs> <laughs> that is so sweet. <laughs> you don't tell her you go through a phase of age, of where you want fancy but stuff, and then you go back to your comfy. It's like, She's wearing the top of this thing and it's pinned to something else and it's got sleeves from something else cut off and literally pinned. I mean, oh my God. well, that's why I make them. And I could go out and get the costumes, but to me, that's the fun of it is that yeah. I just, I create, it's like whatever I have in my house and my friend Stacy always has like the most amazing vintage pieces that we add in. She'll just have the right jewelry or, or something. And, and so it's just so fun. I love it. So creative. And, and God bless your husband for joining in and your kids and the dog. Well, and... I, I, I would have to say we both were actors. So it's not that far fetched that he, you know, that he doesn't mind. So of course he off. loves it. You <laughs> love it. Yeah. So I didn't know that you were an actor. So, okay, take us back to 
I don't, where were you born? Where are you from? Well, I'm from everywhere. I am the true epitome of an army brat. Oh. 